Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight we have Rodrigo e Gabriela and they're going to be playing through the Soundmaker and this is coming from 2014. So let's get them up on screen and see how they get on. I'm just going to jump in here because we've got a really interesting mix here in terms of the techniques that are being used. Obviously Rodrigo just using flat picking here. Flat picking is when you're just using a pick to strike the strings, but alternate picking he's throwing in there and really playing a riff that has a rock kind of almost metal sound to it. But obviously we haven't got the overdrive. We've got that mix of a riff on nylon strings so it's something that's unique in itself because you don't usually hear that and then we've got all the percussive sound coming from Gabriella as well really driving along the performance from a rhythmic perspective but she's got so many flamenco techniques in there striking the guitar also fanning across those strings to make sure that it's always driving forward so that Rodrigo has got that basis to then play those riffs over the top of and it's always going to be driving along it's never ever going going to lag at any point. I know that Rodrigo and Gabriela weren't really into the rock scene in Mexico, which is where they're from, because they were into that kind of music. They were influenced by that, especially when they're writing and performing. So they then moved over to Ireland and started busking over there and they didn't speak any English. So they really just went over there, just took a bit of a gamble. And then from there, Damien Rice, who was another performer over in Ireland, then asked them to open with a show and they started to get a little bit more well known and actually got a break from that. From then on in 2009 they played on the Jules Holland show which I've mentioned on this channel quite a few times with other bands and artists so they got some great exposure there and also on the Tonight Show with Jay Leno so they certainly got their names out there and then seven or eight years later they're still going strong. In terms of knowing each other's playing inside out they've been together since they're 15 years old so they've been going a while and they absolutely know each other's techniques and also how to blend those different techniques and styles in order to get the best effect and the best melodic content as well. But let's get into it a little bit more.
just going to quickly jump in here to just mention about Rodrigo's position in terms of the way that he stands on stage. He very much is standing in that rock pose with the, <laughs> the wide feet and everything. It's just great to see someone putting this kind of emphasis on the playing, but also just the whole mannerism that he's got as if he is playing electric guitar, but it's just such a strange mix to have it with these nylon strings but it's really cool because they're really getting into it now but let's get back to the performance What a great performance, so much energy in that. And it's funny to see those guitars with nylon strings on, but being performed like a rock concert. It certainly goes against the norm in terms of when somebody's playing Spanish guitar, flamenco guitar, we had classical guitar over the last few nights here on my channel. And they've been so stationary because of the techniques that you actually need to play. You have gotta be so accurate with some of these players that just keep that classical guitar in such a strong position and it's never moving whereas here they're just really putting so much energy into the performance and I know we haven't got classical guitars here we've got Yamaha NX series guitars but with those nylon strings it's obviously going to have that similar sound to classical guitar even if the guitars aren't exactly the same and just in the style of playing especially with Gabriella here it's actually quite a demanding way of playing with this flamenco style and striking the guitar and there's a lot of impact going on and I know that in 2010 they actually had to cancel some tour dates because Gabriella actually had some stress injuries because of striking the guitar, striking the strings. It is really difficult to keep that up for night after night after night because you are having quite a lot of impact on that hand. And then I think Rodrigo's probably got the easier end of it playing flat picking and throwing in those melody lines over the top. But certainly Gabriella takes a lot of abuse on that right hand, throwing in this rhythm night after night. But she does such a great job with it. Another example of two musicians just working away and taking a massive gamble by moving over to Europe and then Ireland and just busking and playing pubs and clubs and just getting out there and doing their thing. They released their first album, studio album in 2002 and they've got five of those and then they've gone on to do so many things and they've even been on the soundtrack of a Pirates of the Caribbean movie as well. So they've definitely got out there but they put together such an interesting mix of styles. Obviously you've got to deliver it well you can't be bad at technique because there's nowhere to hide here everything has got to be spot on so they've got absolutely top technical playing here for their own style so when they put those two styles together with this flamenco style and classical sound with riffs that Rodrigo's doing it and putting in that performance like a rock show as well it's just adds something so unique but thank you so much for suggesting this video for me to take a look at keep those suggestions coming in the comments below I'm going to put the link to this in the description so you guys can check out the whole 43 minute show if you want to if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next one